It's the grandson of right thought. Don't you know that if you don't get rid of your fear, that you can't love? If perfect love casts out fear, then if you have fear, then you can't love perfectly. You see that? It's real simple. So, in this world that we've been living in, everybody's got all of these lies that they've been hiding behind, see? We grew up this way. And the TIs, the elect, they faced their lies. They, they were shown what they were and they faced it. They dealt with it. They didn't hide anymore. They wanted to be set free. They, they, they yearned to be set free. You see that? Free from your lies. Don't you know that's all it is? It's not all this other shit you've been trying to deal with in your life. Your job or your family or or your, your relationship or whatever it is. The way you live at. All of these things that we've been saying that it, that's causing us problems in our life. It's right there in that mind of yours. What is going on in there? Because that's what's affecting you. It's not what's going on outside of yourself. The kingdom cometh not without observation. The kingdom cometh from within. From within. Every word matters when it comes to the word of the Most High Yah. Every word matters. Every jot and every tittle. So it's our fears, y'all. The whole world. I don't care what land you live in today. I don't care what language you speak. I don't care what you've done. It's just you coming, overcoming your fears. Of not being enough. Not doing it right. Not mattering, not being valuable. Whatever hinders us. You see? Whatever that thing is that's blocking us from loving, because that's actually what it's doing. Once you connect that yoke, that perfect love cast out fear. Okay. So whenever that feeling comes into me that once that causes me to want to lie or deceive, that's only because of my fear. Once you know that, <laughs> once you know that's what you're doing, then you can deal with it. You can know that that's when it matters. At that very moment right there. When you feel that feeling to do it. Then you know you're being put to the test. That that's called temptation. And you know it now. And he will give you the strength to overcome it. With truth and love. You lovingly tell your truth. <laughs> and see that's why he told us not to do those things. That's why Moses brought us the law. So that we wouldn't have to make recompense or wouldn't have to lie or deceive. We would be living honestly, see? He told us right there, don't lie, don't steal, don't kill. <laughs> you see? But our hearts weren't prepared for it when we received that law. We were still afraid. Didn't we run from the mountain, Israel? Didn't we run away from it when we heard the voice telling us the commandments? We ran in fear. We said, Moses, you go, bro. We can't hear the voice. We about to die. Remember, Israel, remember what I'm telling you. It's always been your fears all along. When he delivered you from Egypt the first time, you had many fears. You've always been a fearful people. <laughs> and it's hard to be a loving people when you're fearful, isn't it? Because perfect love cast out fear. And when the Most High said he was going to make you perfect, what did you thought he meant? Purging you of your fears, knowing that you're loved. 
You loved Israel. Abba chose you because he loved you. So don't hold your head down. It says sing, O daughter of Zion. Moses brought us that law to tell us not how to how to live. We got that word on that stone, looking at it, seeing it. Okay, don't do this, don't do that. But our hearts weren't prepared. So then Yahusha came to prepare our hearts, to teach us, to reveal Abaya to us and his and his truth. That it wasn't some fearful thing. He's a loving God. He loves. He's compassionate. He's long-suffering. Go in peace. That's what Yahusha taught us. Love. So now we got the second piece. And here we stand. Putting them together. All into unison. Or putting the three pieces together. We're at the third piece here. The end. You understand? He gave us the word. We read it. Then he gave us the word in flesh. We felt it. And now we can put it together and have the fullness of the understanding, which is spirit. Ruach HaKadosh. That's today, y'all. The third part. Understanding that it's about coming overcoming your fears today when you go home. It's not, it's not nothing else, guys. Because when we say apocalypse, it means ripping the lies off of your life. Everybody's. On a nation scale, on a personal scale, on a world scale, on a cosmic scale. All the lies will be ripped away. <sighs> and then things will be shown for what they truly were all along. And the biggest lie, I have to say this to the world, is I don't care how you feel about it. The biggest lie, and you all must understand this, is who the children of the Most High is on this earth. Who did y'all think it was? No, not the slaves <laughs> that we read about that was delivered from Egypt. No, it couldn't be them on the earth. It couldn't be those same ones that the Bible said had yokes of iron on their neck. Right here in these so-called land of the free, America. Who had yokes of iron on their neck, guys? The mystery being revealed. Who is God's children on the earth? In the flesh. The tribe of Judah. The so-called Negroes. African Americans. So-called blacks. World. That is the fear that people have. Is couldn't be. Why? Because they were treated this way. We treated them this way. They have great fear of that. Well, the apocalypse is going to handle that if you don't handle it for you. See? If you don't come into truth and love now, come into the fold. The sheepfold. See, we that heard his voice, we've come in. We chilling. Y'all? They're like, how you chilling? You broke. How you chilling? You ain't got no worldly goods and no family. You got nothing there. Got love, man. I got love. The pearl of great price. That you sell everything else to get it. You give everything else up for it. And if anybody wants to dwell in truth and love, then they can reside with me lovingly. I will receive you. <laughs> but we in the sheepfold, y'all. The shepherd already roared his voice. Y'all didn't hear it? <laughs> Y'all didn't hear his words? So that's all it is for the world. They said, if you bless Israel, you shall be blessed. If you curse Israel, you shall be cursed. Well, what did happen to the so-called Negroes, world? Y'all have to hear this and you have to face this world because the apocalypse is going to help you face it. Were they cursed or were they blessed? And the fake Jews, the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not. Read Revelation and see if it says it in there. The Jews, I know your poverty. Well, aren't Negroes in, living in great poverty? <laughs> yes. Look around where well, you can't see it's nighttime now, but I didn't show y'all. I didn't show y'all my neck of the woods. Yes. 
So he says, I know your poverty, but I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but be the synagogue of Satan. So y'all been sending all y'all, y'all good patriotic Americans. You've been sending all your, your hard earned money to bandits, mamzers, thieves. You see, culture bandits. According to the scriptures. Thinking that you're blessing God's people. They deceive the whole world. Is that not what the scripture says? They deceive the whole world. Well, not anymore. The Most High said he's going to restore the tabernacle of David. You see? There's nothing that they can do to stop those words. The deceptions are over. And that has caused great fear to fall upon them. Now, Israel, did you hear that? Great fear has fallen upon your enemies because they know that their time is up. So then you shouldn't be living in fear no longer, should you? Because it says that the curses that were upon you are going to fall upon your enemies now. And that's where we're at with it. It is what it is. Nothing can reverse it and nothing can change it. So therefore you can release your fears because as you release your fears, then you're able to love perfectly. See, you're what you and your wife, y'all want to love. You say you love each other. Are there lies in your relationship? If you're being honest with yourself, you'll say, well, yes. Okay, well then you're not loving perfectly. See, that's all there is to it. So then when you say you're loving, you're actually lying. See? Which, is, which isn't love. Love. You don't lie when you love. See? We were taught that. Well, I lie because I want to protect you. That's not a way to protect. You protect with the truth. That's how we stay safe. Israel, you can't be attacked or destroyed by anybody if you live according to the Most High's commands, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. Love God, man, first. But love your neighbor as yourself. Secondly, you do that, no one can do anything to you. You can rest easy every night. Every night. You don't have to have fear when you're resting in Abba's love for you. And you can't rest in his love for you when you can't come to him with a pure heart. And you can't come to him with a pure heart when you still have lies. See, that's simple. But when you come before the Most High and you say, Abba, yeah, and you don't say this with words, you say this with the Spirit. And the Spirit will do it when it's ready. And what's going to cause you to be ready? Pain. I won't lie to you. The words that I'm giving you are bitter and sweet. You see, double-edged sword, I told you. They're like honey, but they make the belly bitter because it's going to take pain. It's going to take the lies that you put there to be stripped away one by one in front of everybody. Unless you just confess them now and say, hey, yep, yes, I did. I did it. I did it. You see, because, it de because we're causing great destruction when we don't do that. We cause a lot of turmoil when we don't just give in. We prolong it, which makes it worse. You see, because it's coming. I mean, there's no way you can get around that. That's another thing you understand when you're elect a TI. So you understand that you're what? You are chastened to perfection. You don't stumble upon it. <laughs> you don't do it just because you want to do it. You didn't just wake up and say, yes, I'm going to be righteous and live righteously. You just knew it all. You just knew exactly what it was all along. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You were chastened to it. You were whooped. But guess what? We found out because we continued in his word. See, his word said that he chasteneth those that he love. He says, what well, father doesn't chasten his son whom he delighteth in? Because he love him. So he correct him and keep him on a straight and narrow path. You see? <laughs> and Israel's been without the rod of correction for a long time because they were in the hand of their captor you see so they were, they were under the, the rod of correction of an enemy not their father but of their enemy of course their father allowed it because that's what they said they wanted <laughs> they didn't want to serve Abba Yah they didn't want to keep his commandments they didn't want to love each other they didn't want to, to treat each other kindly they wanted to steal from each other they, they, they were lusting after each other's goods. They were um, lusting and deceiving. They were coveting.
All the things Abba told us not to do. You see, when you don't have to have fear of anything, well, why would I steal from bro if I know I'm going to have that? If I know I have it. What do I mean I'm going to have it? No, I do have it. Abba loves me. I have that. <laughs> I don't have to take anything. He tells me not to anyway. You see how that works? Your heart will become tender and no longer hard-hearted. Just like a booty. <laughs> when you whoop it, it get tender. Shit, I don't want to get whooped no more. Shit. That's how your heart get. I don't want to get broke no more. Shit. <laughs> What's going to stop your heart from getting broken? Living in truth and love. You ain't got to worry about getting your heart broke. See? The only time your heart will feel any kind of like what you call heartbreak or whatever, it's not going to be heartbreak anymore because you won't be doing it to yourself anymore. You'll just have the heartbreak of you know, watching other people fail and choosing lies instead of truth and love. Who started in truth and love with you, see? It'd be sad when you saw them when you see them fall by the wayside and give out on the journey. But it won't be you doing it to yourself anymore. Once you realize it was you breaking your own heart all along. So like I said, we could talk about this all night, but I'm gonna leave it right there, y'all. Silawam Yisraelah.